I just, throughout the whole day, I kept having all these different feelings and just kept scribbling them down because it was just, as you're going through someone else's routine, you kind of realize how stuck in your own routine you get. Right. Um, and it's so refreshing to just try something else. And yeah. Stepping into someone else's shoes, and I can't recommend that experience highly enough. It just makes you come back and think, oh, wow, I want to do that differently. And even just appreciating... I know that Miley said, you know, I've got to walk up and down all these stairs. But, <laughs> really... It's incredibly hard to plan that far in advance when you're uh, having to think about exactly what it is you've got to bring to each lesson. I was ran up and I wished I'd had a GoPro or something mm. <laughs> to track mm. my movement as I was going up and down, up and down, um, not having a TA. So I turned and I realized and I asked Miley for her busiest day because I wanted to get a feel of what does that feel like. Mm. And really, I was up and down these stairs constantly. And it's even made me realize, okay, Miley, you're going to have a drawer in my classroom so that you can leave stuff here. Right. <laughs> you know, the whole thing just got me, you know, whirling with different thoughts. But I loved going into people's classes. Yep. So nice to be able to focus on a couple of kids yeah. and not have to think about the whole rest of the class. Yeah. You know, like, I knew that you're in charge of everyone else and I've just got these three children's undivided attention and I can just focus on them and that was beautiful. Um, and just popping into other people's rooms, mm. so nice. Mm. Um, having those small groups in the EIR classroom, delightful. And having the different age ranges was so nice. Mm. Um, right. I'd forgotten how much I missed teaching older children Yeah. and that different relationship you have. and. I'm not trained in early years, and even for me, having the lesson with the grade one, I'm always in awe of people in, you know, KG, grade one, EE, I don't know how they do it, and again, <laughs> just reinforce it, you know, that they do a wonderful job. So what age ranges did you teach yesterday for EAL? Uh, one, two, and five. Right. Um, and, you know, just the grade ones, we turned the classroom into a, um, into a, a restaurant. And just, you know, the difference between working with them and then working with grade five the next period where we were doing scientific investigations is just huge. Yeah. And I think, ah, oh, that's kind of challenging, but really fun. Yeah, yeah. You know? Really diverse. Was there much time between those two things to prepare yourself mentally or practically? I had seven periods out of eight, and then I had my duty on that day too. So I came in at 6 a.m. <laughs> or 6.20 and just prepared everything and I had mm. everything ready to go the day before. Right. But um, when you look at Miley's schedule, like, that's her busy day and, and boy is that busy day busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just the, the going up, you know, I thought, I sort of said to the girls in learning support that, oh, you know, we'll have, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in your office. I wasn't in that office. Yeah. You know, there was no time to be in that office. Yeah. I didn't even get to eat my lunch yesterday. <laughs> I did it whilst on GD. Right. So obviously I needed to actually manage GD day, but it was a busy day. I lost my camera, not again, I've lost my photocopy card. I don't know where it is. <laughs> did you get a sense of what it must be like for an EAL teacher to walk into a homeroom? I only had two push-ins. So I would right. like to experience that a bit more actually. Right. Um, I think my strategy was um, I was in Monway's class and I had my iPad out and I was typing notes and just before I left the classroom I sent them off to her so right. she had the anecdotal notes because I know that that's how she works and I knew that was what she wanted. Um, and with Gabby's, like I knew what she wanted me to do and that was really effective. In here, like obviously I work with mine all the time. Yeah. So that, in, in hindsight, is something I like to... I, I didn't really get a feel for what that was like. Right. Like pushing into their, yeah, classes, yeah. their classes. Yeah. Um, but I have to say that EAL room is excellently resourced. Right. My, yeah, there's, yeah, they have a wealth of things yeah. down there, you know. So yeah. that's a real plus for them, that room. Like they've made it feel nice and look nice, but it's, it's got excellent resources. So that's a good thing. But no, I think, you know, what I kind of, coming at it from a teaching perspective, I knew what I would want. And I, I think it's 
I think that communication, it can just be a really quick email that you type in your notes and just ping it off to the teacher at the end. Mm -hmm. Because it's not always clear what you've been working on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I contacted the teachers who I had their pull-outs and said, I've got these photos, where do you want me to save them? Yeah. Um, and I think that it is just nice having a little synopsis about what you did. Because I feel like I don't always know what's going on when my students are being pulled out by any support service because I yeah. don't get told. Yeah. Um, and meetings are packed anyway, so you mm. don't need to have time, but it can just be a quick email. Mm. Um, and I found when I was doing inquiry in one way, I just wrote, you know, what um, Don did, what Dan did, what Hagen did, and then just sent it off to her and just, you know, this is what we did, this was our focus, and these were the next steps. You know, mm. so I think uh, a quick email communication that is really useful. And even you know, I mean, I found if I hadn't have known what I was doing in Monway's class or in Gabby's class, yeah, you know, you could have felt at a loose end. But yeah. I had a really clear objective, and I knew what I was doing. Yeah. So that was so helpful for me to know. And I just went straight in, went straight for those kids. Yeah. And I immediately looked at what resources Don had and, and immediately knew I had to take them to the library. Right. And so I think, you know, just even knowing who you're working with or what it is you're doing, so useful. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, did it, I was constantly looking at the clock, constantly, because you don't want to be late for someone because they're relying on you. Mm. If the kids are late to you, then you know that you're not going to get through everything you wanted them to get through. Mm. Um, generally it was pretty good, um, but it, it, it can just completely throw what you've planned or a lesson. And I can tell why Miley's constantly looking at the clock when she's in here. Yeah. And yeah. that's, um, I mean, there's no getting around that, but it's just an extra challenge. I found myself constantly thinking, I wish I had a watch <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what, what are students doing? Let's say you are a bit late. Were you late? No. No, okay, so you can't speak from experience. But I wonder what students are doing. I mean, sometimes it's unavoidable to be late. So are those kids getting on with stuff, or are they just waiting? Yeah. That's something we'd have to think about. Definitely something to think about. Yeah. I mean, because I knew this was happening, I planned it quite well in advance, and I kind of wonder what it would be like if I were doing it for a longer period of time. Would I, mm. would I be able to dedicate that much time to plan it in the way that I did? Mm. Um, and... I have to be honest, I did use these assistants beforehand for some things. Right, you um, cheated. Yeah. I did to an extent. <laughs> I can communicate with the Vietnamese cleaners and I needed equipment in the room, but yeah. I mean, how would Lexi do that? I don't know. Well, I wonder if we just make sure everybody knows that EAL or other support services teachers can utilize the TAs of the grade level connected to the kids that yeah. you're working with. So if there's something you want to do with grade four, you can get help from the grade four TAs rather than it all falling on the on the EAL teacher. And yeah, so, I, think, yeah. I think that's important. Yeah. Would you do it again? I would love to do it again. I've actually already spoken to Diana about swapping with her. Great. Um, oh, so not just with EAL, but in, in different roles? Oh, I'd do it again with... with EAL, for sure. Um, Miley loved being in here and the kids love her too, yeah. so that, that worked well. But yeah, I think it's really great even just to try other grade levels too. Yeah. Right, yeah. people. I'll yeah. swap with you for a day if you want. Sure, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Thank you.